Bringing Satan and evil shit up in this mother. So yeah, we uh back on this goddamn shit. Uh, back to some music, did some fucking horror movie shit, and I can't remember what the fuck else the last video was, but uh got some shit in, man. Some of this stuff I've had for a while. Some is fucking brand new. So. Check it out. Actually, uh, first up, I want to talk about this fucking five-way split. Yeah, Drucifer, I know you did a fucking review on this one, too. I remember I saw it. I was like, oh, that motherfucker has that record, too. But, uh, yeah, this is really good. It's uh, five continents of barbaric and storming hatred. It's a, a five-way split between... Uh, different bands uh all very good and actually it was partially put out by the guy that runs uh patch master so yeah it was partially put out and he speaking of patches we finally got these motherfuckers in thomas from uh, patch master he was highly recommended from uh, we got got uh, referred him from we got referred to him from uh, Evil Incarnate, which uh, I thank you very much. Now I correspond with him pretty often. We talk about stuff, but they did a fucking great job on these patches. Patchmaster. I think he's in fucking New York. Um, I'm very happy with this. I know you motherfuckers were asking about some fucking patches, so we got some made. I'll put them up on the uh, band camp soon. I went on ahead and ordered some more CDs because all that shit sold out. So the uh, fuck your feeble war world and that touch the skeleton bullshit we repressed it all. So all that shit will be up probably in about a week and I'll have these up there too. I just want to wait and put them all up at the same time. But anyway, yeah. Eat pussy for Satan. Uh, Thomas, you did a fucking good ass job on these. So we're very happy with them. Um, but anyway, this fucking LP, this full length, man, it's, uh, it's done really well. All fucking evil fucking war metal. All the bands are good. The, uh, nice little layout pictures and shit. It's, uh, I believe it's black vinyl, but, uh, I was very, very happy with this. And actually I got this from Thomas. He sent this to me, Patchmaster. If you don't know, go look at fucking Patchmaster on fucking Instagram. I'll put the fucking link below somewhere if I remember you're a band you need some fucking patches go to goddamn patch master if you want some nasty sickening looking shit you can get him to do it because he's not going to be offended by anything so fuck it send your shit there but yeah this uh label so it's uh done out be uh, by demon c records and uh, black cult death co-production uh actually guy from uh patch master i'm not sure which moniker he's under but uh this is a fucking good ass goddamn split or, I mean, it's a, it's a five-way split. It's like a fucking compilation. Each band has two to three tracks on it. Uh, turn this piece of fucking shit. See the goddamn lights go off again today. So all the bands on here, very good. Uh, for one of the ones that are from Australia, Fornicatador. Fornicatador. I'm probably saying it. But just probably a better way to say it. Fornicatador from Australia. Their fucking shit is brutal. I mean, all, all five of these bands are fucking brutal. All of them equally. They're all... When you hear War Metal, it, it's what what you expect, you know? And honestly, War Metal, to me, a lot of it's just... Almost just like fucking Grindcore with fucking Satan evil lyrics. I like Grindcore, but I'm not into all that fucking social bullshit trying to help the fucking world like i love napalm death but i don't give a fuck about their pacifist bullshit lyrics but i still love the band so i you know whatever people are free to talk about whatever they want but i like uh war metal it's all about fucking evil and crushing and destruction uh fornicator from australia looks like this uh five continents of barbaric hordes and stormy hatred that's what lp i'm talking about that's their most recent Released came out 2023 last year. They also had a full length iron fisting. <laughs> iron fisting. Oh, shit. That's a good name. But that came out last year as well. 
Uh, looks like they had some other releases. Uh, this looks like they started in 2014 and did another release uh, demo called Nuclear Rape in 2018, which I love that title. And then an EP in 2020. So their, their releases have been sporadic, but uh, hey, fucking good band. Uh, next one, there's uh, Genocidal Sodomy from Thailand. Fucking great name. Uh, again, all these bands, their images, they look they look how they're supposed to look. They look fucking evil, post-apocalyptic fucking warriors, satanic warriors of spikes and chains. That's the shit I like. People say, oh, Black Middle is just, just uh, fucking, uh, it's too cheesy and little kid stuff. I don't give a fuck. I like that kind of shit. Like how genocidal sodomy looks. This is how motherfucking bands like to look. Obviously, look at me, motherfucker. People always comment, "Oh, you're so fucking look fucking retarded with a mask on and all this shit." Man, watch a goddamn other video. Stop clicking on here. Speaking of that shit, it fucking. I, I mean, I, I'm yelling, but it, in actuality, it makes me fucking laugh that people still comment. There, there'll be some of the motherfuckers, the same people comment. They're little fucking trolls. Yeah, whatever. It's funny. I don't delete any of their comments. I just leave it on there. They keep talking shit about how this stuff makes them angry, but why Why do you keep watching it? And I put some other video up recently. I can't remember what it was, and I don't... I'm not into politics. I fucking hate all that shit. And some fucking sucker put a comment this long, I just skimmed through it, talking shit about how can anybody take me serious with a fucking mask on and all this. I'm not telling you to take me serious. It's fucking entertainment, you sucker. It's fucking show business. Fucking, I like horror movies, you stupid fuck. But they put this long comment about how I, I shouldn't be making, I, I can't, I remember what I even said about calling somebody that gets their feelings hurt pussies and he was saying about that I have no right because I, I don't, I don't stand for either side that I, some bullshit that I need to stand, stand up for left wing or right wing. Man, fuck you, motherfucker. I don't even know why you even waste your goddamn time even writing that shit because I didn't even re respond back. I barely skimmed through it. This makes me fucking laugh because you wasted your whole fucking time writing a fucking diatribe this fucking long to try to tell me about politics. Man, fuck your politics and fuck all your bullshit. I don't give a fuck about all that crap. If you're into that shit, it's just the wrong fucking channel for you, motherfucker. Where the fuck was I at? Yeah, um, get us out of sodomy from, uh, Thailand. Bangkok. 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 Uh, looks like they've been around since 2018. They, they, their releases have been sporadic as well. They put an EP and a split, and then they, now they did this one 2023. I, I like to see a foley from this band. <laughs> Literally, all the bands on here I like. I, this is a good fucking listen. And what's good about this is the five-way split. They're all war metal, and you know, a lot of times people say, oh, war metal all sounds the fucking same. To a degree, it does, but on this five-way split, each band is different enough where I can differentiate between the bands. It's not like it's just all the way through. You know, there's you know death metal breakdowns and stuff, and you know, up tempo beats and then the blast beats. So it's good enough where I can decipher each one. So it's not just a fucking just wash of shit you can't tell. You ever been on their uh, Hellfire Death Cult? They're from the United States, from Chicago. Um, I like this band. Uh, I, I, I've already liked them even before this. I, I, uh, what was the first thing? I can't remember the first thing I got from them, but uh, they've been around since 2014. Got uh, three full links out and couple of splits and the EP. Uh, and they're, again, they're the band that wear fucking masks and all that shit. Everybody says, like, says, what, what are you wearing? Wearing masks? It's like fucking being sheep. Somebody else put a comment about our fucking channel, man. Yeah, you're just like the sheep that uh, follows everything. Man, fuck off, motherfucker. People were doing these mask and bands before me, before all these other bands, before the mentors. Executioner mask. Fuck that guy from uh, Samson the drummer was wearing that shit back in '81, and then before that there was people. So fuck off. You think we're copying? I don't give a shit. That's what I like. So fuck you. But anyway, back to Hellfire Death Cult. I like that band. They have a lot of fucking kind of breakdowns, death medley kind of stuff, deep fucking vocals. <laughs>
the guys, but just by seeing him, I saw an interview with him a few years ago with uh, Rota! Rota! I saw him on that fucking channel. But uh, I really enjoyed the interview. The guy, I feel like that I see eye to eye with a lot of stuff. He don't give a fuck about all this fucking pussy shit. But uh, yeah, go look it up. It's a uh, Hellfire Death Cult, the interview on Rota! channel is pretty good interview a pretty sensible guy but he seems he, he gets it he's into evil fucking shit not worried about crying like people getting their feelings hurt it sounds like uh that sounds like my kind of band right there but anyway i like him as, as a fan anyway i like the music already uh other band mert they're from spain so i'm assuming mert is like a short for mur murte murder i guess that's what that's for um this band been around actually on here this strangely enough that's the first time i heard him on this four five-way split which i kind of wish i had heard him earlier because i really like them their fucking music videos are great you know wearing masks and fucking poles and chains and shit i like that kind of shit good fucking video they've got four full links out for splits uh they've been around since two, two, 2012 from uh spain Gulmar Canary Islands, good shit. I mean, I, I I like them. I really like their fucking logo too. It's very cool with the fucking gates to the cemetery and the sickle and hammer or sitting that sickle and hammer. Fuck, not that shit. The sickle on there. Um, excellent band. <laughs> Excellent band. Any uh, uh, last band on here? Sarin Vomit. Sarin Vomit. They're from uh, Turkey, Inst Istanbul. Cool band too. I, I uh, honestly, this band too. I was heard them for the first time. They've been around for a while since 2013. I mean, that's not a, a huge amount of time, but it's 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 been a while. I mean, not legendary or nothing, but they've had, they, they've been out for a little bit. Only two full lengths in that time. And splits and EPs. <laughs> Really good fucking band though. I, I uh, this was limited pressing. I don't remember what it was, three hundred or something. I don't know what, what fucking number this is, but highly fucking recommended. And actually, speaking of wearing fucking masks. I got a little packet from uh, Jim's label, J-E-M-S. Really fucking cool label. We're, they're coming, becoming one of my favorite uh, labels. They put out some really good stuff. They released the uh, Lord Humongous album. You know, I fucking love that album. I've talked about giving it praises, and I, I, it looks like the band is kind of taken off, and I'm very glad to see that because they deserve it. It's a good fucking band. But uh, Jim's label has put out some good shit. They sent me some stuff over. Sent me this little uh, fucking satanic three-pack with uh satanic empire i've talked about them too we they were in a uh, zine that we were in as well they did an interview i fucking like this band uh they it, it, i believe it's a one-man project the guy from the band i've talked to him numerous times through uh instagram seems very cool but i like the band i like the look i like the mask all fucking tatted up and then it came with a cool cool ass fucking poster you see that i like it Fucking evil satanic, and there's a fucking barbell down here. Fucking start swinging some goddamn weights around, motherfucker. That's what that's what it's all about. I like that shit. The hard ass, tough motherfuckers. But uh, yeah, this is good. Um, as far as of these three releases, which one is my favorite? I I don't know. I I like them all. kind of like this well probably this split the best because this one is like the rawest sounding one and it's fucking noisy as fuck i listened to the, actually i listened to this one the other night going to bed it's just i seems fucking kind of crazy listening to this fucking crazy chaotic music going to bed is this fucking camera on you piece of shit okay it's on
all of them are good and this actually this band brutal um i like the riffs brutal and this fucking deep vocals and honestly it, this kind of goes against what normally i don't like bands with uh program drums I, i'm really not i mean some bands i like and this is one of the bands i do like it, it's uh i mean i i would like this band even more if it had real drums but you know it, it as they say, it is what it is. So, you know, so maybe he can't find people to play drums because I know how that is. You can't find reliable motherfuckers and you have a, a, a vision, you want to create music and people are fucking dumbasses. That's like for me, you know, I play drums and also do vocals. I, I, I prefer just to do vocals and get out there and fucking scream in front of people. But years ago, I learned how to play drums just because I wanted to never be a slave to some fucking sucker that plays drums that just doesn't want to show up here and there but yeah you don't want to have a fucking drummer you can't rely on motherfuckers don't don't show up for practice or whatever so that's why i fucking done it but you know with, with fucking satanic empire he, he's got to do what he's got to do to make his music and he, it works and i like it so i know he's got another side project he's coming out with as well i look forward to seeing that but i like what gems did they packaged up three albums with this little uh slip case with this fucking scary monster man with a mask on cool shit i like this kind of stuff this kind of packaging satanic empire he also jim's label also sent me this other fucking band Sadan, Sadan or Sadan. um they're from fucking tennessee they're uh statewide cool band i i, I really like that uh the cover doesn't really capture my attention i mean it the cover is cool but for me if i was flipping through a record store i wouldn't pick this up however if you look at the back and the inside, yes, this gets my attention. This is cool shit. Good, man. I, I like this. And they have a really cool fucking music video. See, they get it. They get the theatrics. It has that effects where it looks like it's a uh, old VCR with the fucking tracking lines through it. And there's that classic sound. <laughs> And their logo has a uh, samurai sword through it. I, I I can't tell if there any members are actually Japanese. I'm assuming they are. They have the Corvus panels. So I can't tell. But it sounds like they talk about Japanese horror, ghosts, and mental illness, too, which is interesting. Uh, I like it. I like the band. It looks like they've been around since 2020. They've been pretty, uh, putting a lot of, put on, pretty consistent putting on stuff. They had a full... This is their third full length, and I do really like it. It's uh, very cool. How can I? It's just a, I don't want to say lo-fi black metal. It's rough and rough sounding, but the right kind. That's why I just play these clips. You listen to the shit. You don't want to hear what I got to say about it. You listen to it, but I think it's worth buying. Jim's put it out. Uh, I don't know. The only thing it's kind of made me laugh is the drummer had some fucking fishnet shit on its arm. I don't know if it's sorry i don't know I, I couldn't tell if it's a guy or a girl so if, if you're a guy forgive me i just couldn't tell in the fucking pictures but uh i'm really not into the fucking fishnet shit but everything else is cool if you want to wear if you're a fucking guy you wear fishnet I, whatever more power to you i don't give a fuck but i like your music satan i like this bit, uh album i'll probably pick up other stuff too your back catalog but uh, i love the fucking music video highly fucking recommended okay so uh Next up, this band uh, called Lavina Waitley. You think what's well, a kind of strange name? They're from uh, UK. They sent me this little promo. Basically, this is a, a handmade promo. I love this. It's all cut out, handwritten, stuff written on here in the back, old school style. Recorded well, but not, you know, it's done in a, a clear, nice way, but not overly produced bullshit i like the production on here and i really like the mixture on here i mean it sounds like black metal but there is a mixture of d beat a little bit of punk rock and traditional metal on here <laughs> Overall, this is uh, 
really cool. And there's also a fucking Oingo Boingo cover on here. I'm a, that song, I'm Afraid. So they, it, it, I can tell they like a lot of other stuff. That's how we are. We like to mix in, you know, post-punk and other stuff like that. That's how they are. They, they sent this cool shit. And they sent a patch, too. I don't know where the fuck it's at. I think fucking somebody got it and wiped their ass with it, which I want to put it on my fucking jacket or something. But, yeah, Lavina Waitley, very cool. And I love that they sent this letter all written like a like a fucking satanic ritual, whatever the fuck. I mean, look at this crap. It says, Dearest Mordant Red. They put all this blood and spent the time to do this. I like that. You spend extra time doing this, and I, I really like their band. He also sent me this other CD. I guess he, he said it's their old uh, grindcore band they used to be in. Word Forge. Sorry, I didn't. Look, I listened to the shit. I, I didn't really look at the name of it. I mainly listened to the other one, but this is good too. It's grindcore. Word Forge. And this is pretty fucking good, too. You said this was your old band. I don't know what year this was that this came out. But uh, this is a solid fucking album. Word Forge, Hot Wings, Unfold War. I can't hardly see them. Fucking retarded. Really cool shit, though. I mean, this is their old band, but uh, their new one, Lavina Waitley. I highly recommend this band. I really fucking like it a lot. Oh yeah, I also want to talk about it. My friend, the uh, fucking Warhammer. He put out a, a recent one-man project. He sent me, uh, sent me one. I like, again, cool. Put some packaging in it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, motherfucker! <laughs> Sucker. So, uh, comes in a little plastic slip case. Says, fuck your goat. <clears throat> comes in a fucking limited edition cassette only 33 copies that's some fucking cult cult shit right there four out of 33 it's cool i like how he did this total old school underground put that uh sticker on there and the cassette this i used to get demos in the old days but yeah he recorded everything himself i know he was had been emailing me, telling me about the uh, updates of, he was putting together a studio. He's an Australian, so this is an Australian black metal project, but he lives in New Jersey, I believe. So yeah, I'm sure we'll get up there one of these days and hang out with you. But yeah, he sent this uh, tape. I like it. You know, it's a one-man project, and he says, yeah, I, he jokes about like, he his, can't play instruments very good. I think it works fine. That, that's what he said on his, not my words, his words, he said that on his Instagram. But no, I mean, I, I think it's cool. I like the production on here. It's very echoey, black metal-ish. Uh, I like the vocals. Some, some stuff is faster than others, others, but most of it's kind of mid-tempo, and then there's some doomy passages, patches, pa passages! <laughs> but really cool, I like it, I like the, a lot of echo and reverb on it, it works, um, doomy sounding, Looks like six songs on here. I've listened to it already a couple of times. Hit him up, uh, Warhammer. I don't even know where the fuck you order this. Uh, you, you have a uh, YouTube channel, Warhammer666. And I think it's on uh, Instagram, too. I'll look it up and try to put it in the link below. But, uh, yeah, check it out. Warhammer666, really cool shit. There's some heavy metal riffs mixed in there, too. Not just total black metal. Uh, actually, also, I'm jumping around about Jim's label. The guy emailed me, too, or said they're having a Jim's Fest show in Iowa City, Iowa, October 12th, which, man, I would like to go to that. I don't know if it's possible, but he said that Lord Humongous, Satan, who I just talked about, and Seguin Wounds, and a few more are playing, but just uh, Seguin Wounds, I'm not familiar with that band, but Lord Humongous and Satan, I... 
I would really like to see both those bands. That would be really fucking cool. So if you're in that area, uh, I, I looked on his, uh, he's got a gems label, J E M S label, um, Instagram, but I don't see any information about that show on there, or maybe it's on there. I just don't see it, but October the 12th, Iowa city, Iowa, Lord humongous, Satan and Seguin wounds and some other bands that not listed on here. If you're in that area, you need to fucking go check that shit out. Okay, uh, lastly, I, I want to talk about these. I had gotten these. Yeah, I got these a while back in Tolitarian. Um, again, if you're, honestly, if you're some fucking pussy that your feelings get hurt, this is probably not the band for you. Uh, for me, I don't give a fuck. Nothing's going to hurt my feelings. I mean, you know, if you come and slap me in the face, it's all that's going to happen is I'm going to slap you back. But, yeah, I, I mean... It's good. All these albums are good. It's fucking raw, blasting, grindcore-ish, black metal. For me, I just call it the intolitarian sound. Because it doesn't totally sound like pure black metal, but it's not pure grindcore either. I know they've got a, a, a uh, as they say, sketchy history. You know, I don't give a shit. It's fucking good. I like it. Cool stuff. Lots of scary words in here. I like the fucking masks and stuff. And uh, what the fuck? The Antichrist Kramer had sent me these, and we had corresponded a while back. And what the fuck? I said, I think I think they're working on something new. I can't remember. I, I get so much shit in the fucking mail. I cannot fucking remember. And honestly, I'm way overdue of talking about these. Um, I like all these. Probably my, uh, my, this one is probably my favorite one. The one with the fucking skull and bullet casings on it. It's my favorite one. I like, I I've listened to this one numerous times. Again, I like that fucking look with masks. See, everybody wears a fucking mask. It's, it's nothing new, but I still like it. All three of these albums in Tolitarian. I know that they, they I think they played Hell's Hero Hell's Headbangers bullshit years ago. I know that this uh, uh, Antichrist Kramer does some art for that fucking homeboy too. But uh, yeah, he's a, an accomplished artist. He's done got some shit put out. I know old uh, our guitarist uh, fucking the ugly one. He has a shirt that has Antichrist Kramer's uh, art on it from the. Uh, Museum in LA. I don't even remember what Museum of the Dead or some shit. I, he went to it. I don't know. He's got the fucking shirt. But yeah, man. Uh, in Tolitarian, I highly suggest taking this out. It's fucking pure noisy, fucking aggressive hate. Makes you feel dirty after you listen to this shit. Anyway, that's it for now. Got some more goddamn shit coming. Got some projects coming. Some more shit. So be on the lookout of that. Motherfucker!